officially announced via the Instagram. An Instagram flex from a man that has won a Super Bowl, a man that has broken my heart, mm -hmm. but has become a friend of the show here in recent weeks. Drew Brees announces on Instagram that he is coming back for another season with the New Orleans Saints. His picture is standing atop a mountain, <laughs> I believe. And he says, my feelings about the 2020 season, I look forward to the grind and the journey for the reward at the end will be worth it. Exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. Love you, who dat nation. Let's make another run at it. Now, am I upset that Drew Brees didn't tell us this on Super Bowl week? I do, but I don't think Drew Brees had come to this decision just yet. I think Drew Brees told us like, hey, I'm 41 years old. I started playing football at the age of 11. I've been playing football for 30 years. To retire from that, it's going to take a long process. And now, on a little bit of a getaway, just like Nick Foles did whenever he went out into the woods, Drew Brees gets away with his family, gets away with his wife, does some hiking, gets some clear thoughts up there at higher altitudes. He doesn't do the vitamins, but when you get higher, things get a little bit clearer. And Drew says, listen, first it was a Minneapolis miracle. Then it was the Los Angeles Rams phantom pass interference call that wasn't called that would have led for us to win. Then it was the uh, kind of push off by Kyle Rudolph, but not really. It's been three disappointing endings for the New Orleans Saints, which have all been seasons in which the New Orleans Saints could have won the Super Bowl. And Drew Brees says, is that all I got left? I'm 41 years old. These are my accolades in the NFL. I'm going to read these off. He's a Super Bowl champion, obviously. The picture of him and his baby up on the thing with the confetti <laughs> flying with the last image that I saw before I walked into the locker room. I asked him when we talked to him at Super Bowl week, was, is that what you're hunting for? He said, obviously, that is what I'm hunting for. That is what I want to get. He's a Super Bowl champ. He was a Super Bowl MVP, 13-time Pro Bowler. Five-time All-Pro, two-time NFL Offensive Player of the Year, Sports Illustrated Sportsman of the Year, Associated Press Male Athlete of the Year, Burt Bell Award, Art Rooney Award, Walter Payton NFL Man of the Year, NFL Comeback Player of the Year, seven-time NFL Passing Yards Leader, four-time NFL Passing Touchdowns Leader, two-time NFL Passer Rating Leader, six-time NFL Completion Leader, Bart Starr Award Winner, Best Record-Breaking Performance SB Award Winner, Maxwell, two-time Heisman Trophy Finalist, Big Ten player that didn't know this. In the NFL, he has the most career passing yards, most career pass completions, most career touchdown passes, has the highest career completion percentage, <laughs> highest single season completion percentage, most consecutive games with a touchdown pass, most pass completions in a season, most 5,000 passing yard seasons, highest completion percentage in a single game, and most touchdown passes in a game, which he's tied, and he's coming back for more. Drew Brees is back with the New Orleans Saints. Drew Brees now, which we would assume, back with Sean Payton. Taysom Hill will now become the backup quarterback while still being Taysom Hill. And I assume this means Teddy Bridgewater will be going elsewhere where people are saying he's either asking for $30 million or he's going to end up getting $30 because there's a lot of teams that want Teddy Bridgewater. But good for the New Orleans Saints. Good for Drew Brees finding some clarity. And I hope maybe one day, one day he gets a chance to experience that with his baby that's a little bit older without me having to walk off experience a depression of him and that dumb baby celebrating. I'll be honest. Well, hello there. Utilize the promo code pay the bills and get $20 off your first order from SeatGeek. Now, back to the magic. If, if none of our teams that we grew up rooting for win the Super Bowl next year, I'm actually rooting for Drew Brees. After you, you said it, the Minneapolis Miracle, the pass interference, the Kyle Rudolph this year, it's like... He, he deserves it. After all those accolades, one Super Bowl doesn't seem enough for Drew. I agree. And he wasn't on the NFL Top 100 team. And I told him, I said, you're not on the NFL Top 100 team. You're not. This. He said, I'll, I'll keep building these this ammunition. He said, I'll keep building these reasons, these chips. on." I wonder if we were a part of, hey, listen, you know, the last couple <laughs> of years have ended pretty terribly for you. You're not on the NFL 100 team. Yeah, you got all these records, but, you know, maybe when you go hiking with the wife, you think, yeah, maybe I'm not done yet. Now he's coming back for good. Good for the Saints. Cameron Jordan, I believe. Now, I might be wrong. 
Cameron is that his no, name? Yeah, yes. right. yep. Cameron Jordan, defensive and end for the Saints. He did the media rounds on Super Bowl week. He was on every single show. And all anybody would ask him about, obviously, was Drew Brees. And all he kept saying was, Drew Brees is our quarterback. And they're like, well, no, no, no. Drew Brees is thinking about retiring. He's like, no, I am acting as if Drew Brees. The entire city loves Drew Brees. His locker room loves Drew Brees. Drew Brees loves football. And now at 41 years old, the old man's coming back. Hopefully he'll stay healthy all year. And let's see if we can give it another go. Yeah, I'm a little surprised by it because it did seem like uh, at Radio Row that he was kind of leaning towards retirement. Like, you know, I feel like we would have known if he was kind of gung-ho towards coming back. He's obviously still got a lot in the tank. I mean, it's tough for me. I obviously will have a vendetta against him for the rest of my life, so I don't want him to do well next year. Why is that? Uh, because he was just a prick to me on Radio Row. <laughs> <laughs> it really sunned me. You know, I mean, it was just completely unnecessary, uh, uncalled for. But uh, I am looking forward to watching him play next year. I think this is good for the Houdat Nation. Yeah. This is good for Drew Brees. I'm excited to watch him play. Need to get him back on the show as soon as possible to talk about this. But I like when people get away from everything and make life decisions. You know, I was just in Hawaii. A lot of life decisions were made. He's up in the mountains. Maybe Tom Brady can do that so these New England Patriots fans can't just keep sitting in the middle of this turmoil <laughs> of what the hell is going to happen. Drew Brees is back. Well, Tom Brady, who knows what a day, what a time for Who Dat Nation.